What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff Benjamin with I Download Blog. You see, yes, indeed, there are one, two, two new monitors on my desk right now. And um, I, I'm not going to keep two of them, but I'm kind of doing the two for just a test. I'm actually just going to keep one of these monitors uh, because I felt that two was probably too much for my desk at the time. But the, the, the special thing about these monitors is that they are 4K monitors. Yes, 4K monitors. These are the Dell UP2414 Qs. Uh, so it's a pair of 2414 Qs. Uh, it's in Dell's ultra sharp line there. It's a 24 inch diagonal monitor, as you can see here. And, um, let me just show you the size of this thing, just so you can kind of get a, uh, an idea of how big the monitor is. This is an iPad mini with retina display. You can see I put in it in the bottom left hand corner and you can see it's fairly large. 24 inches sounds small, but you know, it's not too small. It's three inches less than a uh, Thunderbolt display. I find that it's plenty of space for me um, on my desk and with my workflow. You may feel a little differently. Uh, you may want to opt for something a little bit bigger, but at the price point, this is probably the best bang for your buck. Um, and as you can see, if you have two of them together, then you definitely get some high resolution uh, and you also get the real estate to go along with that high resolution. Now, the thing I really love about this monitor is that it has a USB 3.0 hub built in. There's the uplink cable for the USB 3.0 hub. And then here's the display port connectors there. So I have two of those. Now on this particular uh, MacBook Pro, this is the 13 inch Retina MacBook Pro. Unfortunately, you can only get 30 Hertz refresh rate, which is pretty terrible. So I went ahead, I don't, I'm not gonna show you on this video, but I went ahead and upgraded it to a 15 inch Retina MacBook Pro. So you could get the 60 Hertz, which really does wonders for the eyes. You do not wanna run a 4K display. You don't run, run any display at 30 Hertz, trust me. Uh, but you can see the difference here on the right hand side, that is the Retina eyes or the uh, pixel doubled uh, resolution there. So it basically gives you that sharp retina text, retina display like text. So that is the pixel double. And here is the native resolution um, for my 4K display, which is 3840 by 2160. So this is at native, everything's really, really tiny though. Uh, so you're probably gonna wanna run this monitor pixel doubled or in high DPI mode, which is the retina mode for your device. So that's basically what the, you know, the uh, 15 inch Retina MacBook Pro does. It pixel doubles. That's what the 13 inch Retina MacBook Pro, that's what all Retina display devices do. Uh, they have a 2X mode basically. Um, so it makes all the text super sharp and makes everything just extremely legible. Of course, the downside is you don't get all the pixels of a 4K monitor or an Ultra HD monitor, uh, but you still get a nice resolution of 1920 by 1080 in retina mode, which is super nice. Now the build quality of this thing really impressed me actually. Um, most of the base is pure aluminum. Uh, part of it's plastic uh, right behind the monitor itself, but you're not gonna really notice that. The t part you're gonna be touching is pure aluminum, um, you have a, the rotation right there at the base of the device. Um, and the build quality it just is, is above average, I would say. Now, of course, the build quality doesn't really match up with Apple's display where you have all that aluminum encasing, even the, the rear of the device. Uh, most of the actual display is plastic, but you do have a nice weighted feel to the stand. And as you can see, it has the uh, Visa mounts there. If you wanna go ahead and mount that uh, to a a monitor arm or on your wall. If you want to do that, you can do that with this display. And that is not all. I really like the fact that there's a quick release right there on the monitor stand. So you can easily just snap it into place. You don't have to pull out a screwdriver or anything like that. You just hit the little button and snap it out of place and then snap it right back in if you want to do that. Now, another really nice thing is that this monitor has a lot of different viewing angles that you can adjust it to. Um, you have, of course, the stand, which is adjustable. You can slide your monitor up or down. You can rotate your monitor. You can uh, pivot the monitor like this to get the perfect viewing angle. Um, so really the necessity or the need for a monitor arm is kind of negated because this monitor is super adjustable. As you can see, it moves down if you need to do that uh, to give you the perfect viewing angle. And since this is an IPS display, you're not gonna have to worry about you know, washed out viewing angles. It has 178 degree viewing angle like most IPS displays. Um, it is a little thick, 
As far as the actual monitor itself, think about an iMac, it crams a full computer in a really thin, uh, low profile case. This one is a little thick uh, for what it has, but hey, I'm not complaining too much. It's 4K and it looks great. It has that great matte finish. You can see the light, how it's reflecting off there. It's not really showing my face or showing any kind of details in my uh, of my surroundings because there's that anti-glare coating on the screen and it looks great. I didn't think I would like the inner glare coming from, you know, a Thunderbolt display or coming from a Retina MacBook Pro where there's glossy screens, but this is really nice. Now on the back of the monitor, you have several ports here. You have, of course, your power input. You have your uh, full-size display port. You have a mini display port. And these are both uh, compatible with display port 2.1. So you get 60 Hertz on compatible devices, uh, on compatible computers and things like that. Uh, you have HDMI, this is HDMI 1.4. So it's capped out at tw or 30 Hertz. So you're not gonna be able to get 60 Hertz on that HDMI 2.0 will have 60 hertz capability, but this does not have it. And then you have your USB 3.0 uplink cable. That's what you plug into your computer. And then you have three USB 3.0 ports here. And you also have an additional USB 3.0 port on the back, on the rear of the monitor right here. So that is a very handy, convenient feature. Of course, it's not exactly Thunderbolt. Uh, you don't have a Thunderbolt dock, but you do have a USB 3.0 dock, which is a nice compromise. Of course, you can't daisy chain like with Thunderbolt, you can't daisy chain hard drives and additional displays and stuff like that. But hey, for what you're paying for, it's pretty good uh, to get the USB 3.0. You also have your little lock here. If you're in a corporate environment and you wanna lock up your monitor, prevent thieves from taking your monitor, you can do that as well. And it's especially handy since you have that quick release on the rear of the display, which allows you, of course, to quickly mount the stand and you have your Visa mount as well that you can hook up with a monitor arm or mount the uh, display on your wall if you choose to do that. And there is one other feature that I didn't want to miss because I missed it at first. Yes, that is actually, no doubt, it is an SD card slot right there on the back. So it uses the uh, USB 3.0 uplink cable uh, to transfer files via SD card. If you have an SD card, you can just plug it in. Um, and that is a nice feature to have. And I was not expecting to have an SD card right there on the monitor itself. Uh, so that is a nice bonus feature. Now on the back or the, the rear top of the monitor, I should say, is your little exhaust port. So that is where all the heat's gonna be dissipated from. And uh, you're gonna feel some some warmth there if you put your, put your hand up there. Now on the bottom right-hand corner of the front of the display, you have your power button, and then you have the four um, or five capacitive touchscreen buttons for your OSD, the on-screen display. So you can adjust the monitor uh, display settings at will, but you probably don't wanna finagle too much because it does come pre-calibrated out of the box, which is extremely nice for those of you who are interested in color grading and things like that. Now, another super nice benefit of this monitor is the fact that it rotates. Uh, not only does the rotation allow you to have like a, a portrait mode uh, when browsing web pages and stuff like that, but it also gives you easy access to the ports, which are located, of course, on the bottom of the device. Now, despite the fact that I kind of ragged on the 13 inch MacBook Pro for its inability to push 60 Hertz at 4K resolution, I was quite surprised that it could actually drive uh, three monitors, uh, which includes the monitor on the MacBook itself, the display on the MacBook. But the fact that it can drive two 4K monitors plus the retina display, which is no slouch in itself when it comes to resolution, is extremely impressive. And it did so with you know not a lot of lag, uh, other than the fact that it's 30 hertz, which is a, a huge bummer. You're not gonna be able to work at 30 hertz, just forget it. Um, I was still impressed with the power of this Retina MacBook Pro. So again, guys, if you're going to upgrade to 4K, at least have a 15 inch Retina MacBook Pro late 2013 with the Iris Pro graphics. That's gonna give you what you need to drive one of these 4K displays. And obviously if you have a new Mac Pro, you can drive three of these 4K displays with ease. So folks, let me know what you guys think about the Dell UP2414Q in the comment section down below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.